Topeka and Tune is very special. The Topeka and Shawnee County Public Library owns dozens of works by Mary Huntoon. Mary Huntoon is a Topeka artist. She did leave to live in Paris and New York for a time, but ultimately she came back to Topeka and became one of our, I credit her with being one of our founders of an art movement and also of art therapy. She was best known for portraiture. When she would paint pictures of people that she knew, she really tried to bring out a sense of their personality. Something that she admitted was that the subjects were not always flattered by her work, but she really tried to paint not just what they looked like, but who she saw in them, what aspects of their character she could see from their facial features, from their actions, and things like that. She knew that not everyone was, you know, that drawn to her work, but I think she was okay with that because for her, painting was a learning process. It was her way to investigate human nature. When she went to New York, she started gaining reputation, and I think probably had she stayed in New York, she would have become one of America's leading painters. As it was, she was invited by uh, Dr. Carl Menninger to come back to Topeka and work at the Winters VA Hospital, especially with veterans who were suffering from what we now call post-traumatic stress disorder. Then she called it art therapy, and she tried to make her work be an example to, she didn't call them her patients, but her students, about how somebody could work out emotions, how you could work out thoughts through your art. She had a remarkable success rate. More than 80% of her students left therapy and left the institution after a period of less than two years. When she would do scenes, she would often work with edges in a way that you don't often predict artists will do. But this person leaning down on the table, you just see the eye, enough of the hands and arms to identify it as a figure. And the rest of the scene, people talking, people laughing, maybe a dinner party or something like that toward the end of the evening when people are starting to get tired. I think she really had a great sense for human nature. Among the library's collection are dozens of portraits that were given to the library after Mary Huntoon passed away by her husband, William McIntyre. He basically gave the library everything that was in her studio. So the portraits that we have are kind of a real cross-section of Topeka society when she was working. They go mainly from the 1940s up into the 60s, and then she became a little bit less productive towards the end of her career. This painting is a self-portrait, and Mary shows herself at her easel. You can see in one hand she has a paintbrush, but the easel itself is off the canvas. She's looking back uh, over her shoulder the way she might look at a mirror while she's working on the portrait. It's common in Mary Huntoon's work to see other artists at work, either herself or people that she knew. This is an etching that Mary Huntoon did, and it is called The Three Artists. She made about 100 of these. The etching shows three artists out on a sketching jaunt. They're out working plain air, which is French for in plain air. I love that. But they're working outdoors, and each of them has a sketchbook, each of them has their tools, and then they're each drawing what they're looking at, but from different perspectives. We do know that Mary Huntoon knew and was very close friends with Margaret Whittemore and Avis Chitwood. So there's a lot of speculation that that might be the three of them out working together. This is an etching, and what we're seeing here is Mary Huntoon's first husband, who, who was a photographer. He's working in his darkroom. The title is simply Darkroom. But you see him bent over the trays with bottles of chemistry behind him, and a dark room is, of course, very dimly lit. If it's too brightly lit, it ruins the photographic material. So she's really giving us a sense of this room being barely illuminated with probably a safe light, and then his features emerging out of that darkness, and you can't quite see the photograph he's working on. It's more about him at work rather than what he's producing. Now this one shows Mary Huntoon at work again, this time in a cafe or a bar setting. This piece really reminds me of Manet's The Bar at the Folage Bergere, because what Manet was doing was depicting a waitress at a bar looking out at you as she's ready to take your order, 
And here what Mary Huntoon has is herself as the customer, just like Manet's piece, the customer is barely reflected in the right-hand side. Here you see her in almost the exact same position as Manet's uh, placement. Here it's a male bartender rather than a female, but the same accoutrements, the mirror in the background, the bottles, the glasses, everything showing a contemporary bar setting. And then her sketch here, where she's drawing the scene that she's seeing. So you see her drawing of her reflection, and she is implied back here as the artist, just like Manet's piece, where you are the customer, you are also the viewer. Mary Huntoon is special to Topeka because she played such a leading role here for many years. In her younger period, she was very involved with the Topeka Art Guild. She taught classes at high schools. She taught community education classes. During the Depression and the Works Project Administration, Huntoon was on the A-list, so she coordinated other artists for art projects that were federally funded to help get people back to work. When she was working in Topeka, she was always aware of how powerful art could be in terms of helping people discover and work out emotions, in terms of art being used as a way to communicate who we are. And that, I think, is one of the strengths of her paintings, one of the reasons that I'm proud to have so many pieces by her in our collection.